for you will be for you. These words are from the beautiful, young and creative Natasha Aziz, also known as Janie Gal. A 27-year-old mother of an 8-year-old daughter, Natasha is a lover of art and craft who also works with the famous Michael Kahn, known as Old Man Papi, as his assistant in telling folk stories. She started making crafty pieces for her home use, leading her to start her own business. Let's say my business really took off um, for Mother's Day last year. I began with designing a scented candle and then you know it just came to me like about midnight yeah and I just went ahead designed it and it looked really awesome I put it up on Facebook and a lot of people liked it Natasha has a diploma in photography and video editing she also graduated from the National School of Theatre Arts and Drama in 2013 Okay, so it all started with me working in the media and you know I was so interested in photography even before so I decided with the help of my good friend Adrian Orang from Chronicle he advised me to go to the Kuru Kuru Co-op College in Durban Backlands and they had video editing there as well so I, I just have a nag for it since before so I did photography and I did video editing and then I started you know painting drawing the name of her business is traditional arts and crafts why this name brand from the same folk stories she would like to showcase Guyana through arts and crafts using traditional materials I can use a traditional item such as a coconut create make a basket make it usable and that's one of the things that I really enjoy with my work is that I could take these things these traditional things that we all know and love and make them work for us use the bottles wine bottles recycle them use materials uh, such as jute bag jute twine what is her biggest challenge art is underappreciated and I wish that us Guyanese can find it in our hearts to appreciate the simple things in life for example, um, I took a coconut and I made a basket from it. And you know, you can put it on your desk and have candies and so on inside. She made for us an attractive centerpiece in less than five minutes, which included a glass, colored sand, colored bricks, and water. I love bright colors and I just go well, for this one. I want different mountains, so I'm just going to put a spoon and do another spoon of a mountain there. Then I'm gonna mix up the colors. I'm gonna go ahead and add more colors. Let's get some green in here. And this time I'm not gonna make mountains, but I'm gonna kinda of take it around and then I'm going to mix the color again. So what I'm going to do is just putting these stones. Just kind of to top it off as a finishing touch. I use the stones as decor and then I'm going to, actually when I'm pouring the water, I'm going to try to pour it on the stone so as to not make a hole into the sand. excess because what's going to happen is that the water is going to go down all the way to the bottom to hold the sand together and now we're going to take our floating candle and just top it off yep simply beautiful and not so much time consuming that's the beautiful and talented Natasha Aziz